Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here and welcome back to another Electron tutorial series video. Now in the last video we created this where we have a working minus button as well as the close button for our application. But there are two problems that I didn't address that I forgot to in the last video. One of them is I told you we would create this nice little curved effect. And as you can see um, on what we're going to be creating by the end of this series, this curve down here doesn't exist over here, over here. It doesn't exist anywhere. And the way what to do that is with some kind of trickery, we'll create a transparent window and do that. And then lastly, there's an, a problem where we can kind of get this weird blue outline when we click and drag over text. And it, it happens over here. You can see there's three buttons when there really isn't. But um, I'll show you how to fix that. And I'll show you how to create the curve in this video. So let's get started. What we're going to want to do is to fix the, the cursor problem. All we have to do is do user select of none. And you can see that right there will fix this whole problem. I can drag and click and nothing's going to happen there. So that's one problem solved. Now let's figure out how we can get this kind of curve on the edges of our application. Because I think that looks really nice. What we're going to want to do is basically make a transparent background for our application. To do that, we'll go into the browser window um, where we instantiate it and do transparent to true. And what this will do when we restart the application is it'll mean we'll have a transparent window. And you can see this isn't necessarily what we're looking for here. Um, this can give you ideas if you're ever into this kind of thing, but this is what the application looks like in transparent mode. But we don't really want that. What we want is to have um, the body to have a background color of, say, white. And what happens now is it's the same thing, but we can now actually adjust the body. So we can do something like set the border radius to 15... Uh, actually, let's do 50 pixels. And, oh, I uh, forgot. We're not doing this in the body. Sorry about that. So for the body, sorry, we're setting it to a background color of transparent. Okay. So just like before, we'll have this transparent background. And then inside of the HTML, we currently have our nav section and the actual content. We're going to create a new section and give it in class of main app. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw everything inside of this main app section. So we have the navigation bar inside of this section as well as the content. And what this will allow us to do is have dot main dash app, give it a width of 100 viewport widths, a height of 100 VH, in a background color of white. And as you'll see, it looks about the same. In fact, it looks the exact same. But what we can now do is do something with our border radius and set it to 50 pixels. Now, what you'll see is when you do 50 pixels, it has a very extreme, very extreme curve down here. And for my app, I didn't really want to do a big curve. And in fact, I left the top without a curve. So to do that, I'm just going to drop this down to say 10. And what you'll see is against the backgrounds, you can see there's a nice little curve and it just adds a little bit more style to the application. So that is all for today's video, how to add a curve to the application. In the next video, what we'll be doing is actually adding in these progress bars. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys next time. Peace.